Grant. I'm currently in charge of the Lassa Fever Ward of the, the Lassa Isolation Fever Unit of the Kenema Government Hospital. The Lassa Ward is, if I should say, strategically placed here in the Kenema Government Hospital because the disease condition Lassa Fever is more prevalent in the eastern um, province of Sierra Leone. The Lassa Fever Isolation Unit is part of the Kenema Government Hospital. It's like an isolation unit when a case, when we have a case of Lassa Fever, we keep our patients in and there they are treated. They are separate, the ward is totally isolated from the general wards. So it's a separate ward, it's an isolation unit wherein patients are confined for a 10 days course of treatment. And the specific drug that we use here is um, intravenous ribavirin. That's what we use for 10 days period. Simultaneously, in as much as we use ribavirin, we also use other drugs like anti-malarial, knowing also that this is a malaria endemic zone, Sierra Leone as a whole. We also cover with antimalarials and we use broad spectrum antibiotics. When patients are in, the drugs they have given to them free of cost, free of charge, without asking them for even admission fee, nothing financial will be involved. So they are kept in there and even to the point food is also being made available for our inpatients. When I came in into this the project in 20 2008, um, we we met the perception people saying like anyone who comes into the who has Lassa will automatically die. That's that's one thing we struggled to to um, to eradicate from the um, from the persons we 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 we, we, we the, the community people we are working in, like trying to get them to know that not everyone who has Lassa really will die of Lassa. Especially if we know at, an early, at the early stage of the disease that you have Lassa, we can do something about, uh, about it if you do have Lassa. And we have a program. We always have a PPE, that is a personal protective equipment that we put on before we see our patients. We have a special um, corner, if I should say, where we dress well and there are times after dressing, you see us, we appear as people going to space with all our gadgets on. And we always ensure to maintain universal precautions throughout in the world. Any patient we see within the world will maintain universal precaution. And this is what we are preaching. I tell people because of this, I always say, the last award is the safest place for me. Is the safest place for me for Lassa fever. Because there you are fully, fully conscious that you are dealing with Lassa patients. So your precaution is at its brim. If I have a case from any community to a last award, 24 hours time we're supposed to be in that community. We investigate the source of contact. I want to know. Um, identify the close contact with those who are very close to that particular index case we we'll make sure their names are picked up their ages uh, we we'll make sure that they are monitored for 21 days that is within the incubation period from the last day of exposure to the index case we'll do that and we we'll also do uh, case investigation that is we go, we actually want to know whether this particular person contracted the disease from the primary source or from the secondary source of infection. How can we know that? We ask a series of questions. They will watch the, we do environmental assessment, we do household and personal hygiene assessment also. From there we conclude, we, we get our conclusion. Uh, at times, those close contacts that we are very close to the index case, who uh, whose names we are, we, are, we, are, we are taking for monitoring. Maybe within that 21 days, one or two must come up 
develop signs and symptoms of disease. By that, we will know the person who contracted the disease directly from the second resource, that is from the index case. But if that is not, meaning the person must have ingested uh, contaminated food or drink from an infected rat. Those are the two ways we will go out and try to know. Another perception also is um, when telling the people about the, the, the rats, they, you know, they've been eating rats, they will tell you before you were born, we've been eating rats. Now you come in to tell us that the rats we are, you used to eat is the one giving me lassa. It's really, really hard for them to really, really, really take in. Yeah. So we, we have time to, to convince them. We need to use like scientific basis to tell them we've, we've looked at this rat and we found out that this, this rat is the one giving you the disease. Trying to eradicate, that's one thing, you know, that's a perception we, we are fighting. To date, a good number are really, really, um, there's a behavioral change in that. A good number all still believe they can eat the rat. Even some elite people, educated people will tell you, I like rats and then um, I'm going to eat it as long as it's been prepared and then I'll have it and then I'll eat it. But we always try to to tell them like if you are eating it, but how about the one your relative or your wife or whosoever is preparing it um, is exposed. For me personally, being part of this era of Lassa fever, we are in, um, we are trying to understand the disease pattern, also working on um, getting possibly in future a vaccine for the, the, the Lassa fever and it's endemic in this region and it's a disease that is um, a community health, a public health issue and as a Sierra Leonean, being part of this development, I am but very proud to see this um, disease pattern being well understood in Sierra Leone and a Sierra Leonean being involved not only having um, foreigners to come in, we appreciate them so much, we are so happy them being with us here, but for us as Sierra Leoneans to be also involved, I'm very, very happy about that. What I want people to know that it's a viral hemorrhagic disease, and it's also a killer disease if it's not um, handled as early as possible. So the attention that is being given to other infectious diseases also we need to give such attention also to such a disease condition like Lassa fever because Lassa fever has a tendency if it is not handled well it has a tendency to wipe off a whole community an entire community if it spreads out we've had about um, similar cases of Ebola virus right and so Lassa fever is something also we should, all of us should put hands together, see it's been addressed, it's been contained, this treatment is always available and possibly getting a vaccine for Lassa.